I'm sorry, y'all. Normally, I have everything all re it, It's one of them days. Now, this video almost didn't happen because I got called out to do. We didn't go to talk about no more. Y'all seeing all my shit. Just gonna move it over there. Y'all Y'all ain't see that. Y'all ain't see that. Y'all know what it is. But, um, Love Hip Hop in New York. So, Drewski shows up at, um, Jewel Santana uh, event, you know, get back to the kids, all that good shit. And then he begins to talk about uh, Sky. She moved in and, you know, her uh, trust issue become a little bit too much this, that, third. So he decides that, you know, he's going to uh, open up his laptop, initiate the uh, webcam and position it and let his phone sit down to see if she would take the bait. She did. He feels some kind of way. And saying that her insecurities are going, you know, ruin the relationship. But I, I'm going to say this, bro. Yes, on one hand, if she moved in, she should let the shit go. But you help create these insecurities in her. So you are partially to fucking blame. And, I mean, this shit comes with the territory. Most motherfuckers don't just get over shit overnight. They don't work like that. So what the fuck ever. Now, Rich and Peter... Uh, talking now, Peter won't sit here and try to sell this shit to Rich. Where it's just like, you know what? Hey, we need to go ahead, and let Cisco back in the group or whatnot. Let you know, Chris go cooking over back in the group and shit. And we found I found out that fucking Chris was a Capricorn. I nipped out and fell out. But for me, that is split. I didn't figure out if he had January Cap or December Cap, but that explains the petty. That does explain the petty. What it doesn't explain is obviously he not over it. Cause my thing is like if you over motherfuckers, it, it ain't shit else that need to be said. But again, you know, not not, not everybody does astrology, so it is what the fuck it is. But I'ma say this, cause Peter keeps saying, like, how long am I I'm gonna let this keep going on? He gave his analogy. I I'ma say this. And and, and again, I've been giving y'all all type of 2017 jewels. So so here's one for you. So, a frog is put into a, a pot of water. The water begins to boil or begins to heat up. The uh, frog adjusts its body temperature to compensate, which if you guys don't know, that's what we do naturally as human beings is, if we, like I said, if we get into hot water, our body is naturally going to sit here and adjust to compensate for how hot the water is. Then it gets to a point of boiling, and of course, the frog continues to adjust its body heat to the point where when it can't take it anymore, it loses its ability to jump because it has exhausted all energy trying to regulate its body temperature, and it is at that point that the um, frog dies. Many will say it's because of the boiling water, and it ain't that. We all are strong, we are, and we all can endure some shit. What killed the frog is not knowing when the fuck to jump out of the bowl of water. And this is a case point that Rich is trying to say is that whole insanity. We can't, I can't keep sitting here letting this motherfucker do this shit. Can't keep sitting here and be like, you know what, bro, it's okay for him to keep on sitting here and, and stab me in the motherfucking back. Okay, and that's the definition of insanity, doing the same exact thing, expecting different results. I can't keep fucking doing that. So I feel him right there. I do. And again, that's an issue that a lot of us have. I gave y'all some take, take it with you now. Give me y'all spirit and soul and love and hip hop while I sit here drinking a long island. But hey, you know, say some, sometimes the message got to come somewhere now. But what I'm getting at is, regardless of what type of situation it is, know when to jump. Know when to exit. Don't stay there too long. So Erica has a scene's birthday. Everybody there except for Yandy. Erica say Yandy wasn't about it. I don't know how true the fuck that is. Um, Judy shows up. Erica pulls Judy off to the side, wants to talk about, pretty much trying to pick her brain and see, excuse me, do you know why um, Yandy isn't here with the kids? And then, of course, Judy says she didn't know. Of course, she knew. Let me sit here and tell you about this bitch. And then you guys, Samantha, like, well, do you know they wasn't married? And then Judy was saying, well, as far as I'm concerned, what doesn't matter, they are married. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. I really don't give two fucks. I told y'all, I'm I did say I'm done with that, but I didn't quite dead the baby mama. So probably after this, I'm probably going to be dead with all of that shit. <sighs> okay, so Monica Lohan 
is in the is in the church house, is in the Lord's house, practicing the song, gyrating, talking about going up and down on the nigga. People gonna stop. People gonna stop playing with the Lord now. I, I'm. I'm not. I'm. I'm being like straight up 100. Believe what you want, but don't go. For, you know what? We we not do not 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 right now. This this ain't the platform. Anyway, <laughs> is it me? Or does she low key sound like Cassie? When I I don't mean like sound like sound. I'm talking about the vocal abilities of somebody like Cassie. Y'all let me know because I I, I want to get another. You can't be up in the Lord's house. And you ain't singing to the Raptors, so so that, that was all the way fucked up. She says that she invited somebody in the industry to come see her perform, you know, give her support so she can secure her spot. It ends up being Crisco. Crisco, is, he seems like a, a battered bitch. He seemed like, you know, a mother that just got his motherfucking heart broke, so now he want to sit here and destroy everything in his path. And from what I'm understanding, he probably was He probably didn't say Capricorn. I'm having to go all the way back when this is done. And see, I guess what he said. I don't know, but my whole thing is like that. That's one of the things where if you done, bro, you just done. To hit talking about she ain't had no food. I had to sit here, you know, give her food with her bony ass at thirds. Like, man, you's a bitter bitch. So I normally find names for bitter bitch ass, you know, niggas, and I don't have a name just yet for Crisco. So I'm gonna need for y'all to help me come up with a name. Y'all know Peter on um. Real Households of Atlanta, he, he Patricia, uh, singer Tangus, you know, Tanaka, uh, singer Tyrese is, you know, Teresa, you know, motherfuckers like that. Uh, so, you know, y'all let me know what, what, what we gonna call Crisco. So I, I need y'all's feedback. Um, Jay Adrian, still get together. Long story short, it's done. Kaput, we finished. Yen is you to get together, fake tears, whatever. Again, I'm done with that shit. I'm so done. Mm. Okay, see, we need to do something about love and hip hop because I'm gonna finish this out. But also, real shit, like if they come back with the same shit for New York, like I'm gonna start giving these shows three episodes, you know. And if I ain't getting shit, then I'm, I'm cutting loose. I, I got mm. so it, they had the showcase. So, huh? Let's see who gonna get uh, who gonna grace the pre stage. Now, I know a lot of people ask them what that is. It's similar to, like, a pre-show. You feel what I'm saying? Like, think about the BET Awards, how they had a pre-show, but you ain't made it to the big stage, but you just out there, you know, doing your little thug, this little whatnot. It's like wrestling, how, you know, they have the dark matches, and that's, and that's you know, people still finding everything, and once they know the dark match, then, you know, the actual show happens. So that's what that is, in case y'all was wondering, okay? But they get up there now. My, minor, minor, minor. Songs in a minor. Come, come, come on, that's sweet. First and foremost, like I said, Rich made a good analysis. She was, she has the better track in terms of construction, but her shit was under, uh, her performance was just not there. Yet Mariah Lynn has a bogus ass track, but she got a bunch of edges. She killed it, which she did. Now, what I'm going to say is this. How, like, she can't get the, look, look. Mariah Carey had already did it, and here's the thing, even though we can't really get Mariah Carey passed, Mariah Carey got, got this, and she got them hits to where we can allow her to get the fuck on, on stage and pull some shit like that. You can't do it, especially when you lip singing, okay? You ain't even sitting here giving us vocals. We ain't getting vocals. You ain't you you ain't singing to the motherfucking rappers. I, I, I don't know what the fuck she doing. And then she's sitting up there looking like a mission between motherfucking Faith Evans and Kiki Wyatt. I cannot... I will not. And these two gutter rap bitches sit there arguing at each other. And then, of course, you know, she wants, first and foremost, they should have never sat down and had their performances discussed. So, right there, this right here, if, if anybody wants to work with DJ Sir, you're starting to see that he don't know shit about business. Because that's this is some shit that you don't do. I should got hit pause. But, pause, bitch. Did it pause? Okay, pause. But, um, I mean, it's just some shit you don't do. And then you're throwing drinks and shit, and I can't, I can't. We ain't getting nowhere. We don't even know who the fuck is going to some motherfucking stage, y'all. <laughs> so, we got Drewski and, um, what's that girl name? Uh, Sky. She mad because he devotes shit on the internet and whatnot. And, you know, she get the yelling and whatnot. And I'm going to say this. Oh, how the tables have changed where he went. Now, here's the, he still got that, you know, dumb nigga look on his motherfucking face. 
But he it's what it's it's one of those where he got so much fucking power because she's saying popping off and he looking like, Am I yelling at you? Literally one of those where like you going you right here and you bring that shit right here and I'm surprised he'd be like, Look, you ain't finna sit here yelling at me in my motherfucking place. You know, but she had to reiterate, yeah, I can't trust you when you did da 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 da, da. but his thing I can't feel sorry for Sky and I don't feel sorry for Sky. Cause on some real shit, either you gonna let the shit go or you gonna sit here and you gonna move the fuck on. Plus, when you go looking for shit, don't be surprised at what the fuck you find because most of the time you find what the fuck you're looking for. So I, I don't feel fucking sorry for any fucking woman that going through this shit. First and foremost, if a motherfucker not treating you right, if you stay with that motherfucker, that right there shows the how much value you have in yourself. One, two, keep going back. I'm, it's, and here's the thing, shit, the motherfuckers that I roll with, I'm going to tell you one good time. Other than that, I'm going to sit there, I'm going to listen to you, and I'm going to sit my team. But don't ask me for no advice, honestly, because if I sit here and I give you some advice, or the best advice, or lead you to an answer, and you still decide you're going to do the same fuck shit, no sympathy. None whatsoever. Who else we got? Chris going rich. Rich whole thing is, look, cuz, we can't keep doing this. Nigga, you drowning. And then you want to say, pull me in. Motherfucker, I'm drowning with you. I know what you're going through. I don't want to say you drown this, then, the third. I I would like to think this was a real scene. Then this motherfucker get to crying. I think he caught himself like, oh, shit, I'm crying. So then he walked away. And then that was it. <laughs> Damn, cameras and lights and shit. Sorry, sorry. Y'all might have saw me move the light. It's fucking travesty tonight. All right, so Seth Minor and uh, Mariah uh, get together. Seth asked why the fuck he threw a drink. I felt that she was high. She looked thirsty. Mariah opens up a water bottle, flings, flings the water out. Cisco tries to, you know, bring them back together. And right here, you can tell he has no type of fucking leadership, anything. Because the sound of his voice should have put fear into their hearts. Should have had their asses trembling. Bitch, man, I tell you, into way, into way, Mariah, not on the fuck. Self wants to know how the fuck the Crisco infiltrate the fucking group. So, Maya says how it all happened, and that she feels kind of because, oh my gosh, I was just a pawn. You think? You think? So, now, Self whole thing is we all have a common enemy, let's work together, whatever. So, man, DC calls uh, Sam. And, you know, and she makes a good point. Rather than talk about their son, he wants to talk about the whole Yandy, all this other shit. And she feels a kind of way. And you, here's the thing. I'm going to tip my hat to the brother. He going to sit here and ride for his damn, you know, fiance. I'm going I'm to I'm rock with him for that. Because you saw he tried to sit here. And he asked with the one-two pun talk about some what well, shit. I mean, you know, uh, you know, I was fucking around with Erica while you was pregnant. I told her she was still down with it, trying to sit there and call the vision. Saying they were right here at running around acting like sister wives and shit. I'm like, you know what? I cannot and I will not. Okay. <laughs> so Yandy and Judy that's how they want to go confront Erica about what they heard um on the uh voice recordings, okay? And it's the whole, yeah, because you said you're going to sit here and keep Lil Manisi and, you know, uh, uh, a scene from, and she, and she was like, wait, 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 Lil Manisi is not my son. I cannot keep somebody else's son from anything. That and, he, and she was like, and if I said that, then chances are the other party involved, i.e. Samantha, is already in agreement with what I was saying. So then their, their whole thing is you brainwashed her, you know, I mean, I was waiting for them to say put a battery in the back, but that's okay. But saying that she was brainwashed is that third. So Sam walks up and Erica, you know, shares what it is that she had. And Sam was just like, shit, Judy, I recorded you. Shit, I record all y'all bitches. <laughs> and she says it's confessional. She does that because she has to protect herself. I got it. I got it again. I'm just not, for the sake of a lot of shit that's going on, I'm just not going to touch on that too fucking much. But what I will say is, you know, they going back and forth, back and forth, and Sam calls Yandy a bitch. 
which I'm pretty sure that's not the first time that she's been called a bitch. And for whatever reason, security, for whatever reason, Yandy felt so inclined to swing. I guess it's a sw swing at Sam. And right there is where you see who really about that life. I'm pretty sure Sam will, you know, put the flu flops on it as I'm, I'm just saying. And I would sit back just like, no. But then they're going to pick up where they left off. So we're going to sit here and have a reset and reshoot this damn scene to see what the fuck comes of it next fucking week. But that said, we, they need to hurry up and wrap this shit up and get us to the motherfucking reunion because I'm so fucking done. I think what Atlanta is next in the shoot. We'll see. So that's all I got, y'all. Hopefully, I gave y'all some. I, I didn't get much. I gave y'all what I could. So rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys on Wednesday for the uh, yeah Wednesday for for the uh, little women of Atlanta. Peace.